Coming up, I'm going to show you how you can A-B test your screenshots on iOS to increase your downloads. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. All right, in this video, I wanna show you how you can A-B test your screenshots on iOS. On Google Play, it's really easy. On iOS, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'm gonna show you why you should be doing it and how it's gonna actually help you with your search ads campaign because that is the tool we'll be using to A-B test our screenshots. Now, if you don't know why these are important, in my previous video called Three Ways to increase your downloads without touching your keywords, I really talked about screenshots and how we helped our client double their downloads just by changing their screenshots and optimizing it, all right? So it is very, very important that you get the right messaging within those screenshots because the first three are the ones that show up in the search results and they're critical to making sure to converting your users into downloads. And with that client, we saw a flat, this is what we wanted to see. We we're flat with impressions, but our downloads went up by double just because we changed the screenshots. We didn't change the keywords because I really wanted to make sure we A-B test. So you can do it that way by just submitting a new update, or you can do it the way I'm about to show you now. Stay tuned. So here's what we want to do. We want to actually use search ads. Now you don't have to spend a whole lot of money running this test, okay? But for critical, especially when you're running a lot of paid acquisition campaigns, this is critical, critical to testing your A-B a testing your screenshots. Now, one, I'm gonna assume that your screenshots are beautifully designed. If you're, they're not, make sure you definitely do that. But if they are, then we're gonna use search ads to A-B test which three should show up first. And a friend of mine told me that, look, by doing this, he increases downloads because he was A-B testing his screenshots on iOS with search ads. He found that three that he was actually using was underperforming and the other three that he wasn't using were overperforming. So it's probably a combination of both. I and mean, you can kind of use your gut to do that, but I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so first going to search ads, we're gonna create a campaign. And I'm gonna pick on Comb because I have been picking on them a oh, while well, anyways, but it's a great app and that's why I love them. That's why I keep plugging them away. So I'm gonna call this screenshot test, okay? You wanna name your campaign, I'm gonna keep it in the United States, screenshot test. You can pick other countries if you want, but I'm pick the United States. You might wanna put like 200, maybe three, whatever you want on there. I'm not gonna put a daily cap because the more coverage I can get, the better. Now for this, I'm only gonna focus on one keyword. So if, because I'm calm, right? I'm not gonna put calm, I'm not gonna bid on that keyword, but I'm gonna put meditation because that's what this app is about. So I try to pick a generic term that will probably work out the best. So meditation, and you're gonna have to figure out which, which keyword is gonna be the best for you. But for me, I would just pick the, the keyword that specifically talks about your app. And so here I'm putting meditation. Here I wanna only put iPhone, maximum bid I might put, because I know meditation is probably pretty competitive. I'm gonna probably put like $2 per bid. Just keep it high for now. And then turn this off. So this is very key. And this is the same way I would set up a search ads campaign. All right, we're gonna, sh I'm just showing you the screenshot test, but this is literally how I would set up a search ads campaign. Okay, now I've got a, a Chrome extension installed. That's why I see the scores. You might see a blue bar. So definitely check out my other video on the Chrome extension. I'm gonna click that. Now here's the key, okay? You don't, now we want, we turn this off, right? Because we don't want, Apple automatically saying, this one seems relevant to meditation. No, 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 we just wanna focus on meditation. When a user searches for meditation, we wanna show up, okay? So this is very popular, great, and we wanna put a big exact match. That's key as well. So make sure it's exact match, these little brackets, okay? All users, demographics, fine, fine, fine. Now here it is, the create, creative asset. So I'm gonna actually not do this yet. I'm gonna hit start right now. And I'll show you how to do it. You can do one different ad set, creative set right now, but I'm gonna go in, hit run, and then I'm gonna go back into this campaign. So meditation, meditation. Now I'm gonna go up here, creative sets. Okay. And because it's meditation, it makes it a lot easier. As you can see, you see the default text and then the image. So click on add creative set. 
And here's where we can start testing around. So as you can see here, are the first three, and I'll show you the first three real quick. Let's see if I can see it up top. So you got this beautiful, great first screenshot app of the year. Like, duh, that's a great, that's a no brainer. Secondly, we've got learn the life changing skill of meditation. Okay, decent, decent. And the last third one is sleep stories to help you fall asleep. Okay. They must know that, hey, maybe they're, they're number one for sleep stories if you check out our other videos. But that's key as well, right? And then breathing exercises to help you relax. Master classes taught by world renowned experts. These are screenshots five, four, and five. Six, relax with soothing nature sounds. And this is the last one music to help you focus, relax, and sleep. I don't even know about the music part. Okay. Now, because we're meditation focused, right? So I might call this, I want to test if breathing exercises will help too. So I'm going to call this breathing exercises, right? And I'm going to pick, I really like that first app of the year. So I want to keep that in there, but I want the breathing exercises in there. And instead of showing the, this one where it says life, learn life changing. It's like, oh, really, are you really going to change my life? You know, I'm going to put this one master classes taught by world renowned experts. So I want to test against these, these three defaults, right? So same thing here. This is the video. So I don't, I don't, maybe I don't want to show the video. Maybe you can, right? So you can select the video versus right now, this is the default on this where it's video. Di, di, di. So maybe here I'm going to, oops, here, here's the video, right? They don't have the other video on the larger app iPhone. So I'm going to test one. I want to keep this all the same. Two, three. Great. Oh, <laughs> I went through this already just to, for you guys. So I'm going to call it two. Awesome. So that's breathing exercises. I had to add two because I did this right before I hit record just to make sure I went through it one more before you guys. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is maybe video versus no video. Okay. So now here, this is the default. So now I'm going to go do, do, do. And then here, I'm going to keep this as default. Great. Now you can test, right? Again, now I'm going to add one more. So this one, I want to test, like, I think that this is done really well, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is a good screenshot. Learn the life changing. I like this one the best breathing exercises to help you relax. So maybe it's like life changing. All right, let's keep life changing in there, but I'm wrong, but I want to know master classes. So I think we don't need sleep stories because we're focused more on meditation anyways. So I want to knock sleep stories out. So I want to put master experts. Is that what they said? Yeah. Experts. So I want to put experts. Now this could be a different result. So if you were, if I were bidding on sleep sounds and I was part of calm, then I would definitely have sleep sounds in there. But if I'm getting, if I know that there's higher traffic for meditation, I'm getting more downloads through meditation, then I might put meditation up front. They are probably getting more downloads from sleep stories and sleep sounds because I know they're number one for sleep stories and number four for meditation. But because I'm bidding on meditation, I just want to see what would happen, right? So I'm going to pick the first two that they currently have, and I'm going to pick the world experts because I think that's pretty, I like social proof. Anytime I can add social proof, I'm going to do that. So I'll click those three. And I'll hit save. Boom. And then now that the campaign is running, you can start to see, okay, here's the average CPI. Here's what's happening. Here's the taps. And then which one, whichever one is best converting, then that's the one that you should use in the future. All right. So very simple, very easy that you can use. And then especially the last thing I want to mention is if you are running search ads, you should definitely be, you should definitely have different creative sets for the different ad groups and different keywords that you're targeting, right? That's why I've started. That's why I put this ad group as meditation, because I know I can select the right creative ads, creative ads to then focus more on meditation. Okay. And then different, I might create another ad group that says sleep stories. That way I can really focus on sleep stories. And that where that's where the relaxing sounds and the sleep, those screenshots, I start putting those in there as actual creatives to show versus the default. Okay. So it's a fine balance. And then maybe you find out that, Hey, sleep stories is a way better converting keyword overall. Right. And then that's why maybe calm has sleep story as the sleep stories as their third screenshot rather than meditation. 
So a lot of things you can test here and they can test a bunch of different variables, but that's an easy way for you to test. Although you have to spend a little bit of money on Google Play. There's another video if you wanna check that out on Google Play, but although you have to spend a little money on this, this is the best way to do it. All right, guys, Till next time, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.